Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day, and everything's going to be okay. Welcome to a game called Journey to the Savage Planet. I've had my eye on this game for a while. Uh, it is very similar to No Man's Sky in that it's set on really bright and colorful planets, or maybe it's just one planet, and you're an explorer and you've got to, you know, you, you, there's a lot of weird creatures and stuff too, and you have to, I don't know exactly what goes on, I assume there's going to be some resource gathering and fighting and stuff, um, but yeah, I gonna go ahead and get in and check out the beginning of the game and this is gonna be a game that I play as a series on my channel let's go ahead and start all right we're we'll doing oh there's cooperative I didn't know there was any multiplayer for it that's cool oh I should say that unlike no man's sky it's not a procedurally generated world it's a handcrafted world, and it also is a game that has an ending to it, so it's not an open-ended game like No Man's Sky, but as far as the location, it's kind of like an exploring game like No Man's Sky on an alien planet. So, start a new game. just came out today and I want to say I I, th I think I paid $30 for it when I pre-ordered it it might be less than that but it's definitely not a $60 game Right in. Hi, my name is Martin Tweed, President and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Thank you for joining the Pioneer Program. For almost 30 years, Kindred has been striving to help humanity expand beyond the confines of Earth. And I am excited to announce that many industry observers now consider us the fourth best interstellar exploration company. From our humble beginnings, manufacturing batteries and solar arrays for use in extreme climates, to our line of athletic footwear and chic survival apparel, we have been continually striving to drive humanity further from the bottom of the oceans and now to the stars! Our next step is to move beyond pure exploration and into settlement, which is why you are here. Our scientists have identified several planets that may be fit for human habitation. Yours is... ARY-26. <laughs> Your job is to explore the planet's surface, catalog its creatures, threats, and opportunities, and send your data back to our crack team of scientists here at Kindred for analysis. The more you discover, the more we'll be able to guide your experience and highlight objectives for you and your partner, if you have one. <laughs> I should also mention that while every effort has been made to ensure a comfortable and safe journey, recent budget challenges plus the unknown natures of the obstacles you will face mean that we were unable to send you anything in the way of equipment. Oh. But don't stress, however, as your habitat comes equipped with a 3D printer that is more than capable of turning any old space trash you discover into useful items. One minor note. All the fuel in your javelin was used in the journey from Earth and the landing on your planet. You will need to discover a local resource that you can refine into an appropriate fuel. Unless, of course, you decide to spend the rest of your life off Earth. <laughs> but I don't want to take up too much of your time, and I'm sure you're very excited to explore. So I wish you good luck! We will send updates on your progress as you complete your scheduled surveys. Stay alive, and see you soon. 
<laughs> that was one of the things I was most excited about. Space travel is not for everyone. Side effects of long-term space travel are uncommon, but can include headache, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, dizziness, dysentery, chest pain, varicose veins, bloody stools, feeling of emptiness, or hopelessness, osteoarthritis, hemorrhoid, diabetes, forgetfulness, gender confusion, spontaneous dental prolapse, mild discomfort, or death. If you notice any of these symptoms, please contact your kindred representative as soon as possible, and all efforts will be made to help and or rescue you. Note that current rescue time exceeds six months. <laughs> um, I was really excited that, um, when I saw. I'm here to help guide you on your mission, but first things first. Please log into the computer and fill out a teeny weeny questionnaire, if you don't mind, so we can make sure you're not crazy. Uh, I was really excited when I saw that there were live action videos like that. Uh, it rem reminds me a lot of Wally, the beginning of Wally, the Pixar movie. Um, it had that kind of live action corporate take the questionnaire video. The and I can't open the door. Ah, the lights, talking. I'm trying to talk. Um, and I, I, I think I heard that there's more of those videos as you go through the game. Like maybe every day you get another transmission when it plays one of those funny videos. There's like commercials and stuff. So I'm really f looking forward to that. Okay, so I'm supposed to be using computer, I guess. New report. Greetings. It looks like you made it. Good job. As per your Kindred Employee Experience Program benefits contract, you are contractually obligated to submit regular reports during your mission. Let's begin. One of my jobs is to continually assess your mental state, and as space sickness has been an issue for some other recent explorers, could you please identify <laughs> yourself from this gallery of faces? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love these faces. They're like meme faces. Um, oh man, I want to choose that one. I think I will. I always want to choose this one though, but yeah. <laughs> this is a dog. I'm gonna pick this guy. Thank you. I'm super glad you're not crazy. Thank you for your time, Explorer. This is the end of the report already. Please press the submit button and send your answers to Kindred's data center for processing. Enjoy your adventure and stay alive. Well, that was easy. That was going to be long. Do I have more messages? Oh yeah, greetings, explorer name here. Welcome to your first day of your great adventure. We could not be more excited to welcome you to planet name here as a key member of Kindred. Kindred's quest to explore the stars, it is imperative that brave people such as yourself turn over every rock, scan every blade of grass, and dig the precious crafting ingredients from the innards of every beast you encounter so that your data, our database may grow and humanity may continue to expand across the infinite reaches of space. Humanity has been trapped on Earth for the entirety of its existence. We can be bigger. We can be more. Help us get there. Sincerely yours, Martin Tweed, founder and CEO. Cool. Videos. Oh, sweet. I can rewatch those videos. Hi. My name is Martin Tweed, oh, it's president a and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Thank you for joining the Pioneer program. Is this the same video? For almost 30 years, Kindred has been striving to help humanity expand beyond the confines of Earth. And I am excited to announce that many industry observers now consider us the fourth... Oh yeah, this is the same video. That's pretty cool, you can rewatch them. So, stats... Alien research, nice. Collectibles, ooh. Okay, I need to get out there. And now you're ready to explore. Please walk downstairs and step into the teleporter while I will discombobulate you and then recombine you outside on this glorious new planet. Oh, so there's a teleport thing. Meet buddy. <laughs> Relaunch? Don't forget to exercise! And remember that work can be exercise! <laughs> I'll mess with that later. So I need to go downstairs, it said, to the teleporter. Cool. 
starting in an ice area, I guess. So, uh, welcome to ARY-26. It doesn't seem to be, well, a planet at all, really. More that nation of rocks. This mission just got 100% more interesting and about 50% more lethal. To aid in your exploration, the Javelin is equipped with several small, robotic drones that can perform basic scans of the world around you. Please launch them by opening the exterior hatch. The exterior hatch? Ah, Grob. The only food in this universe that tastes exactly like it sounds. How do I open the exterior hatch? Press R3. Oh. Oh, so I need to go over there. I like the comedy in this. I put away the, the grob. Approximate locations of resources and important info. The javelin is pretty banged up, but you'll need to scan the exterior to confirm the level of bang upness. Do that now. Do what? Don't forget I'll... to continually scan your surroundings. The camera will transmit data back to Kindred HQ, which will send you blueprints for <gasps> stuff. Then you can collect stuff to make the stuff in the blueprints, and that's Stuff will help you survive against the stuff you took pictures of. Oh, there we go. I scanned it. Okay. Hold, wait, hold R1? Oh, That's I wouldn't have been scanning. That's not supposed to look like that. This machine will copy you into its memory, delete your body, and then print a copy of it five feet away. <laughs> delete your body and print a copy of it five feet away. That is how a teleporter would work if we actually made one. How do I get rid of this grob in my hand? Can I stow it somewhere? Trying to figure that out. Oh well. Guess it's in my hand forever. Oh, I can't go this way. Maybe I'm supposed to scan it. Oh, I see. That's that's zoom in and out. That wasn't scanning. These aren't reads. Is there any way I can get rid of this? It just bothers me having something in my hand all the time. Oh, here we go. Maybe this... I could switch items if I don't know how to use it either. Oh, there it is. I threw it. Yay, I got rid of it. <laughs> okay. I guess it was useless. It's supposed to be food, but there was no way for me to eat it. Oh, I'm probably such a scam this. Uh, I keep using the button that's scan in no man's panel sky. From the javelin. It must have been knocked loose on landing. Ooh, nice. Okay. Climb like that. Ooh, that's pretty. Uh. Ah. A 
charmingly fragile crystal structure. Bothers me that there's a different button for scanning in this game from what it is in No Man's Sky. Ooh, a creature. Not close enough to scan it, I guess. There we go. Aww, it's chilly. They're drugs, but good drugs. For healing, not fun. <laughs> they're, they're drugs. Birds may not look it, but they're salty as hell. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Press square to slap or kick. Hold square and release to power slap. <laughs> That's so silly. There's a slap and power slap. <laughs> Can I collect anything? So far, there doesn't seem to be a way to collect things. Unless I'm supposed to... Oh, that was me. <laughs> huh, I can't seem to get through here. All this is blocked off for now, I guess. That's why this stuff's in the way. Uh-oh. Are they mad at me? Whoa, whoa. Uh-oh, he's mad because I kicked him. Wait, I don't know, this is just back the way I came. How do I get through here? Huh. It's all blocked off. Oh wait, maybe I'm supposed to melee. Maybe that gets rid of some of this stuff. There we go. Okay. Oh, well, that's just back the way I came again. Let's try going a different way. I already went this way, of course, but maybe I can get through the crystals now. No? Darn it. I can't get through the crystals. Huh. Is there another way I could go? Maybe I need to slap this thing. Oh, okay. Can I pick stuff up? No. Hmm. This is just back that way. What? I can't slap it now. I was able to get it out of the way before. Whatever, doesn't matter. So where do I go? Just telling me to melee stuff. Oh wait, how was it? It said I could view, oh yeah. Okay, so, oh, I guess I was supposed to do something back here. At my ship. Saying my objective is over here. What is my objective? First task, check your ship for damage. Huh. Survey the planet, document the planet's ecosystem. Seems to be telling me to go to my ship, but... 
Am I supposed to go back inside of it? Seems like it. Is there something in here I'm supposed to be doing? The grab and go superlicious mega morphological food base from Suckage Farms. The universe's number four sustenance resource just got a whole lot juicier with Platinum Slurp Plus, Nutra Minerals, Power Booster Edge 20 million. Rock with anatomically reconfigurable nano clusters simulate a virtually unlimited number of foods and see if I can wash them. Oh, it doesn't smell on there. Vegan with tastes, flavors, and textures like beef, chicken, pork, chocolate mousse, hard candy, chili bacon burger, sunny manic, chives, baked ziti, parmesan cheese, vanilla swirl, Bon John donuts, Salisbury steak, pasta paisano, buffalo banana wings, horse biscuits, pineapple pizza poppers, lamb's flea, poutine, ones on fecal surprise, to cover shit water, nose broth, and literally trillions more. Now oh, oh. <laughs> that's good flavor. Broth. The 100% artificial food replacement gel taking Earth by storm. Don't be a snob. Eat with the mob. Replace your food with Rob. Rob is considered a plus nine retro cluster and is not cleared for non terrestrial territory. Do not under any circumstances speak <laughs> to Star Journal. See website for details. That was one of the videos in the trailers I really liked. I guess there's a new message here. No. What's here that's new? Oh, okay. So that was the new. Video. Go superlicious mega morphological food base from Suckage Farms. The universe's number four sustenance resource just got a whole lot juicier with Platinum Slurp Plus, Nutra Minerals, Power Booster Edge 20 million. Rock anatomically reconfigurable nano clusters simulate a virtually unlimited number of foods and beverages in your mouth and straight into your stomach for maximum satisfaction with exemplary convenience. With tastes, flavors, and textures like beef, chicken, pork, chocolate mousse, hard candy, chili bacon burger, sunny manic, chives, baked ziti, parmesan cheese. Vanilla swirl, Bon John Donuts, Salisbury Snake, Pasta Paisano, Buffalo Banana Wings, Horse Biscuits, Pineapple Pizza Poppers, Lance Flea, Poutine, Ones on Fecal Surprise, to cover shit water, Nose Broth, and literally trillions more! more. Now yeah, that's good flavor. Broth, the 100% artificial food replacement gel taking Earth by storm. Don't be a snob, eat with the mob. Replace your food with Broth. Broth is considered a plus nine retro cluster and is not cleared for non terrestrial territory. Do not. Oh, it's so funny. So, what am I supposed to be doing? Don't know. Relaunch? I can't do While that. Well, there's nothing in the world I would like more than to launch this craft back to Earth so you could rejoin your loved ones, should you have any. This remains impossible until you find a suitable fuel source on the planet. You journal? Scan the javelin for damage. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do? I scanned parts of it, but it didn't let me scan all of it. Ambient temperature, 112 degrees. Biosigns, nominal. Oh, here we go. There's other parts I'm supposed to scan. And that's where the lonely panel we found earlier belongs. Fuel tanks are intact, but empty. If you can find a local fuel source, you'll be able to get back home. If you can't, congratulations, you're home already. <laughs> you're the javelin home already. is basically intact, but in need of minor repairs. If we ever want to relaunch. Oh, the cartographers found an alien alloy we could maybe use to repair the ship. Let me mark it. So, looks like you will need a new tool in order to venture further. I have added a new blueprint to the Javelin's 3D printer that should do the trick. But in order to print it, you'll need to gather some basic resources from the local fauna. Okay. I guess I'm supposed to get... What? What am I supposed to get? Harvest the required resources. Carbon. Am I supposed to kill these guys? That's sad. Ew. Oh man, it is. That is it. I have to kill them and collect carbon. Okay, just need a little bit more. It's kind of sad I have to kill these cute things. 
And they explode into green nice slime. Work. Ew. You have collected enough carbon to craft a basic nomad plasma pistol. The 3D printer inside the javelin is ready for your input. It's kind of disturbing. That I have to do that. Every time you return to the javelin, you automatically deposit any resources you were carrying. Anything you drop outside the javelin, however, will stay there until you go and grab it with your meat hands. <laughs> meat hands. Fat and bristle finding its way to your trash? What a waste! Or even worse, the toilet? Disgusting! Put a smile on your face using your meat waste with Meat Buddy, the reconstituted oh, yeah. cuddly companion from Slimo. Just take your animal-based waste products, rotten flesh, and laboratory-thrown proteins and simply toss in the hopper. Choose the number and type of appendages, and in just four short ply chips, your new best friend will emerge, ready to cuddle. <laughs> meat Buddy, the snugly playmate from Slimo. Gross. So where's the 3D printer I'm supposed to be getting something from? Meat scraps, fat and gristle finding its way to your trash? What a waste! Or even worse, the toilet? Disgusting! Put a smile on your face using your meat waste with Meat Buddy, the reconstituted cuddly companion from Slimo. Just take your animal-based waste products, rotten flesh, and laboratory-thrown proteins and simply toss in the hopper. Choose the number and type of appendages, and in just four short ply chips, your new best friend will emerge, ready to cuddle. <laughs> Buddy, the playmate from oh my Slimo. gosh, that's so disturbing. Oh man, I wish I wish that was actually a thing in the game. You could make a meat buddy. Oh, here we go, 3D printer. Okay, so what do I need? General weapon. Here we go. This was supposed to make this. Now you've got a weapon, the single most important tool for any colonizer. Do I have it now? Yeah, I guess it's in my inventory. Ambient temperature 92 yeah. degrees. Biosigns nominal. Shoot your way out of the ice caves. <laughs> It looks like there's duct tape on the top of my gun. I think there is. <laughs> Ooh, what the? That's some kind of like alien ruin. Nice, I love alien ruin stuff. I definitely want to explore that. Okay. Ooh, nice. All right. Yay. Journey to the Savage Planet. It may sound weird, but do you see a large tower moving above you? Yeah. I only ask because my system appears to be functioning correctly, but our initial scan said there should be no sign of intelligent life here at all, and that appears to directly contradict this idea. I will contact your superiors immediately. One moment, please. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm going to leave this video here. I'm going to be doing a full series of this game, Journey to the Savage Planet. I'm really excited, especially now that I can see there's alien ruins and stuff. I definitely am excited to explore those. But, oh man, there's so much weird stuff here. It's awesome. I have received an urgent message regarding the tower from our president and CEO, which is available for your viewing pleasure at the habitat. Please return as soon as you have a moment. Okay. We'll, we'll, uh, I'll do that next time in the next video. But for now, I'm really excited about this series and playing this game. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all. I'll, I'm probably going to try to do daily uploads of this game um but yeah that does it for this one i have been mac thank you for joining me for a day 
and remember, everything is going to be okay.